Hi, this is Carlo with NetFocus Technologies. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can access a share on Server 2012 R2 from a uh, Mac. To proceed, we're going to go to the Server 2012 R2 C drive. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to create a new folder. In this case, I'm just going to name it something simple like data. I'm going to right click over data, select properties, go to sharing, and over here we're going to click on advanced sharing. Let's place a uh, tick box here next to share this folder. And for permissions, I usually go with authenticated users. So all we need to do is click on add here, click on advanced, click on find now and there is authenticated users. Select that, click OK, click OK. And typically I want to give authenticated users uh, the full share rights. So we select the uh, checkbox for a full control, click apply, click OK, and then apply again, OK, and then close. Uh, the next thing I want to do is create a user uh, that will be allowed to access this share so to do that we go to um, start um, administrative tools computer management and under the local users and groups select the users folder right click select new user and in this case I'm just going to use my first name enter a uh, password as well and uh, typically I'll uncheck the user must change password at next login for this demonstration. Uh, click create and close out of here. So the next step is to find out whether or not we have a static IP set on our server. To do that, click on control panel, go to network sharing center, click on change adapter settings, right click over the ethernet, select properties, you want to highlight Internet Protocol version 4, select Properties. And you'll notice that we have uh, selected the use the following IP address. And in this case, it's going to be a static IP of 192.168.0.30. So this is basically saying that the machine will always consistently use the same IP number. Um, so go ahead and click on OK on that. Typically, um, if you're going to be sharing a um, data folder, you want to have a static IP set on the server um, and the other thing is if you are going to be using the name of the machine rather than the IP uh, you're going to want to have a uh, easy name uh, that's on the server that you can remember at least uh, if you could just right click over the server name here select properties you'll notice here we've uh, named this uh, particular server win 2012 and if you notice it I actually modified this name here by going through the change settings option here, click down the change button here, and I just typed in a simple name of Win2012. And uh, if you've got DNS set up on there, this is the uh, correct way of doing it is to be able to access the uh, actual machine name versus the IP. Uh, now that we have all the information that we need, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Mac. All right, now that we're back on our Mac, um, we're going to be demonstrating how you can access a shared folder uh, by using OSX Mavericks uh, version 10.9. So to proceed, let's go to the Go menu and drill down to Connect to Server. And in this case, what you want to start off with is by typing SMB colon forward slash forward slash the machine name forward slash the actual share name. In this case, it was called data. Since we're not using DNS for this demonstration, I'm going to substitute the machine name, which is Win2012, for the static IP that I had set, which is 192.168.0.30. Um, and once we type all that in, click on plus sign to add the actual SMB share to the favorite servers list and then followed by the connect button here. 
Now you may be prompted for a username and password on the server. As you may recall, we created a, um, an, a username under the computer management. Um, so make sure you put that in there followed with a uh, password. Uh, very important. Now that we've connected to our shared folder on the server, we could actually create other folders in here by right clicking, selecting new folder. In this case I'll call this one accounting. If we have Excel or Word files that we want moved in here, we could just drag them. Now if you want to be able to access your share folder from the desktop, what you need to do is basically go under the Finder menu, select Preferences, and then in here you want to put a checkbox next to Connected Servers. You notice that when I do that, you have the data share access on your desktop. If we double click on here, we're able to access the um, shared folder that's on the server 2012. Uh, likewise, if you want to have local access to your Mac hard disk, you would just check off this box as well. And uh, once we do that, you'll notice that the hard disk for the Mac on your computer is accessible directly from the desktop. I hope that the uh, this video has demonstrated to you how you could uh, set up a share folder on a Windows system and be able to access it from a Mac. I'd like to thank you for viewing this video.